you see, uh, hypocrisy is projecting one thing in a certain direction and doing totally opposite. You understand? That can also be described as hypocrisy. We saw the Minister of Health going to the hospitals and she was told in her face because she wanted to show the country as usual in these stunts they do with the media that you know, she had gone to see where the medicine and she met people with prescriptions who were going to buy medicine to say madam what you are saying in your office is not true we don't have medicine even where you are finding us we are going to buy medicine what does that show you isn't that failure that is failure in someone's face and when we have said probably the minister is misplaced they misunderstand us to think we are just talking where we are saying look do the right thing People have told you, you have come, yes, we have seen you. Here is a prescription, I'm going to buy medicine. There is no medicine in the hospital. And you want to still just tell people what you have in your mind. It doesn't work. You are blaming doctors to be on the phones. Look, who doesn't know that these gadgets you have are now multi purpose gadgets? It's not all the time that anyone who is on the phone is doing propaganda or just gossiping. What's happening? No. Doctors, teachers now can use this phone to do real-time research. They can consult their colleagues on a challenge that they are faced with on the phone. So you as an informed minister, you can't go and start branding them as, as lazy people for having gadgets. Just do what is right. And this thing of intimidating public servants must come to an end. Those are public servants who are in these jobs because they deserve them. They got educated to get these jobs. So we who are politicians will be there and will come and go. And like she was saying, yes, you go, you are there, Minister of Health, and you leave. There will be someone else who will come. But those doctors that were found will remain there to save citizens. So don't intimidate them by thinking you are a superhuman. No. They have existed. They have healed people. They have looked after their citizens for so many years. It's the same with those nurses that you are trying to intimidate. Just do the right thing. Do your work and stop the brain game.